What's up everybody, Punch here. It's been two years since the last video I did for walking around a ship in Elite Dangerous. So for 2019, we're going to do four more ships. It seems like that video did pretty good. I think I have about maybe 4,200 uh, views on it so far. I think 30 likes and 16 dislikes. And I get it. A lot of people didn't like it because it just looked like shit. And... The entire idea that when you're in VR mode, you basically just like, you know, you just see whatever the person sees. So you might see me shake or bob or move or whatever, and I get that. That's fine. I mean, that's such as VR. But right now we're doing the Corvette. The other three ships are the Mamba, the Crate Mark II, and the Anaconda. So we're going to be taking a look at the Anaconda and the interior for that. But I mean... With all that being said, and medium VR quality on Elite Dangerous, there are some pretty cool shit that some of the ships have. Like some of the modules, for example. I really wish my rig wasn't like... When I mean rig, I mean my computer. I, I kind of wish it would like... The only thing bottlenecked right now is my graphics card, and that's a 970. Everything else is like pretty good. So I really kind of wish if I do these videos, if I can make them like higher quality to where it doesn't look like the words are popping out of the uh, monitor or everything kind of shakes or anything like that. Anything for stabilization for the next ship. We're going to be looking at the, I think it's the crate crate or Mamba. I don't remember. It's the Crate Mark II. Okay, so this is the Crate Mark II. I had to actually wait until I started to look down towards the uh, sensor. And I'm looking around, checking out the floor, and then we look behind you. That's what the Crate Mark II looks like inside the ship. So there's actually, it's pretty spacious for what it is. Keep in mind that the Crate Mark II is technically a python. The only difference is that the hard points are different. And it kind of looks like a cross between a pancake with a, uh, like, a, I don't know. It kind of reminded me of a, a pancake with some, like, weird grape or whatever. It's a cockpit. I don't know. Something stupid. It just looks like a really weird ship. But it's got five hard points like it does for the Python. Three large, two medium, except the only difference is the three large are on the top. And the two mediums on the side where the cockpit are on the bottom of the ship. So, I mean, it's... The interior looks actually pretty clean, to be honest. It's not like the Corvette to where it's spacious. But more like... I guess there is, like, space in it. But it's not super, like, cozy. Like, you could just walk around and have a party in it. There's stuff everywhere. There's cords and shit. There's... Obviously, you got to walk over stuff to get to your seat. And then you look up, and it's kind of like the ceiling is kind of coming onto you. Like, you're too big for the ship. And Craig Mark II is pretty good. Next one is the Mamba. The Mamba is really weird because the thing kind of reminds me of a speedboat. And the only difference is, is that instead of being on the water, it's in space. And I got to see some of the cool shit on the sides until you look behind you. And that's the Mamba. So you have another seat on the top portion of like a, of the, uh, like where the cockpit is. And then you have a door on the left side. And then you have all these like modules and stuff inside the Mamba. I kind of wish you could mess around with them. Like you couldn't Star Citizen for specific modules. But sadly, this is Elite Dangerous. A lot of this stuff is just cosmetic and make it look cool and stuff inside your ship so that you kind of feel more like a pilot rather than just like, oh, I'm playing an, a, a game. Like the immersion's not really completely broken when you have all this stuff going on. Sadly enough too, I can't really say when doing these videos that I can't go down a specific level or I can't like go far because my room is not that big. And um, I don't know the full controls of Elite Dangerous. I've been playing for a while, but I don't know like um, anything like with second party clients or using software to exit the ship and fly. I know you can do free look, but free look is only skewed to a specific point. 
and you can only go so far unless you're in a station. Then you can kind of go anywhere unless you're in the hangar. And the little module there looks kind of cool too. And that's pretty much the Mamba. So with that, with the Mamba looking pretty nice inside the interior, even though it still does look like a speedboat, I'd kind of wish they add more stuff for the, uh, for like VR people. And this is the Anaconda. So the Anaconda is obviously a big ship. We already knew that. It's multi-role, exploration, combat, trading, whatever. It doesn't matter. And this is the interior of it. It looks actually pretty clean compared to like the Corvette. Though it does kind of remind me for some unknown reason a little bit of Star Trek. Like it kind of reminds me of that specific ship. I think it was Next Generation maybe. I've only seen Star Trek a couple times so I I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit except it's more like you have the one door and then you have the 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 pathway and then on the two the left and right sides are super open and there's nothing there besides maybe a door and then you have the like the brown the, it's, it's pretty cool looking honestly. And then everybody's kind of tight knit up there you have your co-pilots on the left and right sides. And then you have your nice little ceiling roof with the grates and stuff. It's a pretty nice ship. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you do, go ahead and press that like button or go ahead and press that sub button to know when I get on. I'll probably be doing more videos for this. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Big Punch. See you later.